Well, Swindon are also battling against relegation and this afternoon they faced Peterborough at the county ground was Phil Duffel. Reddy's header back to Invincible. O'Halloran's cross, Alexander in the middle, Rosewell! 1-0 Swindon Town, Gary Alexander with what could be a priceless goal. Duke, Hooper's come out to meet him, that's lovely play by David Duke, he's going for the byline, can he pull out a, a good ball? He can, it's Hewlett, it's off the line, should have been two. And the final score was Swindon 2, Peterborough 1. The town's hopes of avoiding relegation received a massive boost this afternoon with a winning goal in the final seconds of the game. The final score, 2-1. Gary Alexander headed Swindon in front. Posh hit a post. After half-time, they had Dean Hooper sent off for retaliation. Again, one goal was never going to be enough. Adam Willis scored an OG. And then Danny Invincible, the darling of the town crowd, fired in a last gasp winner. It goes right down to the wire. Well, Swindon Town's precarious position required three points from their clash with Peter Reunited. This is how it finished. Willis with the throw. Reddy's header back to Invincible. O'Halloran's cross. Alexander in the middle. Rosewell! 1-0 Swindon Town. Gary Alexander with what could be a priceless goal. Linden to launch it long. Reeves will challenge. Invincible is in there again. Oh, Molly! Would you believe it? Danny Invincible has scored a priceless winning goal, surely, for Swindon Town. It's pretty difficult trying to work out just if they various teams have got enough points. Stoke City, a late winner from Daddison at Oldham, might be just enough for them. And Port Vale beaten at home. Tomorrow they've got a civic reception. Uh, that's their first defeat in 20-odd. Can't remember how many, but it's an awful lot. Swindon picked up the three points in a vital game against Peterborough. County crowned. Gary Alexander opened the scoring after just seven minutes, his ninth goal of the season. Peterborough down to 10 men on 52, and Dean Hooper was sent off. And then... One's gone down as an Alan Reeves own goal. 14 minutes from time, but Danny Invincible rescued the win. Nice volley from him in stoppage time. His first goal in 22 games. Uh, Swindon have only got one game left to play. Uh, they are four points above the drop zone. after losing at Walsall on Saturday, whilst Swindon took a big step towards safety with a dramatic win over Peterborough. With a trip to Stoke next Saturday, Swindon knew they had to win against Peterborough and got off to the perfect start when Gary Alexander headed them into a seventh-minute lead. Town were helped further when posh captain Dean Hooper was sent off, but a mix-up between Steve Mildenhall and Alan Reeves saw the latter put the ball into his own net and Swindon had one foot in the third division. But in a dramatic finale, Danny Invincible's left foot volley sent the stadium into raptures and maybe Swindon into the safety zone. Yes, what a week ahead for both Bristol Rovers and Swindon. Rovers take on Port Vale tonight, the start of three home matches in just six days that would decide if they can avoid relegation. Meanwhile, Swindon took a big step towards safety with a dramatic late winner over Peterborough on Saturday. Is this the goal that means second division football for Swindon Town next season and spells disaster for Cambridge United or Bristol Rovers? Danny Invincible's crackerjack has given Andy King new hope. Twist come in our favour when you look like you're doom and gloom. It's 1-1, you're three minutes into injury time, uh, you're thinking the worst because probably going into next week with only a point, two points in front of the others was a problem. And then you get that wonderful goal and that was a twist. Let's hope that's a twist in our favour that uh, clinches our, our safety. Swindon had got off to the perfect start as Gary Alexander headed them into a seventh minute lead. Posh had captain Dean Hooper sent off, but a mix up between Steve Mildenhall and Alan Reeves saw the latter put the ball into his own net. And Swindon had one foot in the third division before Invincible's late, late show. Bristol Rovers were two down inside ten minutes at Walsall. First, Pedro Matthias was left with a simple tap in. 
And then a dreadful error by Andy Thompson saw George Letow feed Don Goodman and the optimism following the previous demolition of Oxford had evaporated. Nathan Ellington gave them a glimmer of hope late, late in the game, but if Rovers lose against Port Vale tonight and Wickham on Wednesday, they could find themselves relegated before the last day of the season. Swindon's win lifts them four points clear of Rovers, who have two games in hand and the comfort of playing all three final matches at the Memorial Stadium. Cambridge's home defeat by Wigan on Saturday keeps them deep in trouble going into the final week of the season and there's still plenty of fighting talk in the Rovers' camp. There ain't no time for excuses, there ain't no time for lack of concentration, there ain't no time for people not living right. We have got to be 100% professional people for three games. For one week, they have got to live it, they've got to walk it like they're talking now. They're enough time for talk. Talk's over now, it's time for action. A check on the remaining fixtures shows just how tight the situation is. If Rovers win two of their last three games, Swindon will have to beat playoff contender Stoke City at the Britannia Stadium to finish above them. So it's all eyes on Swindon Town now. Will they or won't they? The Reds have a fighting chance of staying up after beating Peterborough 2-1 at the county ground. Gary Alexander thought he'd won it with his goal. But then, even with one man sent off, Peterborough came back with an equaliser. Well, it was an own goal from town skipper Alan Reeves. One all could have been a disaster. But in the very last minute, Danny Invincible cracked home the winner. If town stay up, that strike will be the goal of the year. And Danny Boy will be player of the year. It's been a... Uh... Oh, four months or so since I've scored a goal. So that, you know, I didn't plan it that late. I didn't mean to score, you know, um, so late in the game and so late in the season. But um, you know, it was a good goal to score, and, and hopefully, um, hopefully, it proved decisive in the in the relegation battle. It's one of those things you either swing, you either swing and miss it, or you swing and connect. And uh, you know, luckily, it's come over the top of the head, and I've just um, swung the old trusty left foot, and it's, it's, it's gone in. This week is make or break. Bristol Rovers play tonight and Wednesday, Cambridge on Tuesday. If they both win and they're at home, it could all be down to the last game on Saturday. Now, it's Bristol Rovers who are under pressure to deliver tonight, along with Swindon. They're struggling for Division 2 survival. But unlike Swindon, Rovers lost at the weekend, which makes tonight's game all the more crucial. It takes place at the Memorial Stadium. David Passmore's there. David. Thanks very much indeed, you two. Yes, conditions here are dramatically different from the last time they tried to play this game last week. It was absolutely flooded here, but as you can see, conditions pretty good underfoot tonight. Well, it's that time of year when a single flash of brilliance or a mistake could determine the outcome of the entire season. And the cost of failure for Bristol Rovers would be very high, not just in cash terms, but in terms of pride. Rovers have never played in the bottom division of the Football League in their entire history. Well, tonight they play Port Vale. It's their pressures game in hand over Cambridge. If Rovers win, it will take them out of the relegation zone. But Rovers will have to improve their performance following their defeat at Walsall. When you're scrapping for Division 2 survival, you just don't want this to happen. Six minutes in, and Pedro Matias made it 1-0. Then, four minutes later, Andy Thompson was mugged, and Don Goodman completed the punishment. Things looked up a bit in the second half, but the Walsall defence held firm until the final moment of the game, when Nathan Ellington did get one back. But if ever you needed a wake-up call, it's better to get it on the Saturday than get it like on the Wednesday or whatever. Like, what we've got to do is show the Bristol public that we care about this club and we care about the situation and we'll get them out of it. And with three games at home, I can't think of a better opportunity. Swindon Town gave their supporters a few heart attacks. They don't have games in hand and just had to win. Seven minutes in, though, Gary Alexander gave them the lead. Gary Alexander! Then Peterborough had Dean Hooper sent off for retaliation. Offside, Mackenzie. Oh, and Hooper has lashed out. And if the referee saw But just that, when victory looked to be on the cards, confusion between goalkeeper Steve Mildenhall and Alan Reeves. It's an own goal. It's agony to watch. Surely they'd thrown it away. But in a further twist that wouldn't have been believed in a film script, Danny Invincible got the goal, which could be the difference between the second and third divisions. Danny Invincible has scored a priceless... 
Swindon needed to put the brakes on their slide towards the bottom four. Commentary from Phil Duffel. O'Halloran's cross, Alexander in the middle, Rosewell! 1-0 Swindon Town! Gary Alexander with what could be a priceless goal. All trouble here for Swindon. to launch it long, Reeves will challenge, Invincible is in there again, oh the volley, would you believe it, Danny Invincible has scored a priceless winning goal, surely for Swindon Town.